What's up guys? Welcome back to Ion Busing and Trucking Institute's YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about the rear trailer axle. So I want you guys to always remember the rear trailer axle consists of your braking system, your suspension system, and then the wheel itself. So you also got to remember each system has a couple of components such as the wheel, you have the top of the tire, the side walls, rims, then you have your valve stem and lug nuts, and then of course the axle in the center. Your suspension system, you have your spring hangers, leaf spring, U-bolts, and also your braking system, you have your brake chamber, your slack adjuster and push rod, and then the air lines coming out. Always remember, all axles are the same. So, just like how I explained it there, we're going to see the rear tractor axle as well. So here is our rear tractor axle. As you see, we have the wheel, the suspension system, and we have the brake chamber hiding right next to the suspension system. So, that's why I like to only do the rear trailer axle because you can see everything more clear. But all axles are the same. Now, let's go take a look at the front axle. And our front axle, also the same. You have the wheel, you have your suspension system, and you have your braking system. As long as you mention all the items in these systems, then you're in good shape. So now, come with me. We're gonna start our inspection. So, when I like to do this, I always like to go from inside out. So I will start with my braking system. My brake chambers, I have two of them. Not broken, not cracked, not damaged. Properly mounted and secure to the axle cross member. And I hear no audible air leaks. Airlines coming out, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, no audible air leaks. Behind the brake chamber, I have my slack adjuster and push rod. So over here, we'll come to the back and we'll look at our slack adjuster and push rod. To get a clear look at where it is, it's right here. And there's another one right there. My slack adjuster and push rod is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. It's properly mounted and secure to the brake chamber. It's properly mounted and secure to the axle cross member. All my mounting bolts, not rusted, not cracked, not missing, and there is no audible air leaks. In order to properly check them, I would have to chalk my wheels, and I would have to pull on them. I should not have no more than one inch of play with the brakes released. All my cotter pins, not rusted, not cracked, not missing, and they're all in the lock position. Now we will head back out and start our suspension system. Our suspension system, we have our spring hanger front and back. Not broken, not cracked, not damaged. Properly mounted and secure to the trailer frame. There is no broken wells. All the mounting bolts are not rusted, not cracked, none are missing. We have our spring hanger and our leaf spring. Our leaf springs, they're properly aligned. They're not shifting. They're not broken. They're not cracked. They're not damaged. All the mounting bolts are not rusted, cracked, or missing. And they're all on tight. In the center, I have two U-bolts. My two U-bolts, not rusted, not cracked, not damaged. 
None are missing. Underneath of the U-bolts, I have the mounting bolts. Not rusted, not cracked. None are missing and they're on tight. No shiny threads and no rust streaks behind the bolts, which indicate looseness. And if the trailer axle also has a shock absorber, which this one does not, you would inspect the shock absorber. And how I would do it is, my shock absorber is not broken, not cracked, not damaged, properly mounted and secure to the trailer frame, the rubber bushing on top and bottom, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, all mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, or missing, and there's no visible leaks from hydraulic fluid. We do have a torque arm. Our torque arm is not broken, not cracked, not damaged, and it is properly mounted and secure to my two spring hangers and the bushings, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts. There's no broken welds and the mounting bolts are not rusted, cracked or missing. We also have some air tanks back here. Our air tanks are properly mounted and secure to the trailer frame. It's not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. There's no audible air leaks. The airline's coming out. No abrasion, no bulges, no cuts. No audible air leaks. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, or missing. Now, we would go to the inside of the rim. Inside of the rim, I have my brake lining. My brake lining has to be more than a quarter inch of thickness. No abrasion, no bulges, no cuts. And my brake drums is not bluing from excessive heat. Not broken, not cracked, not damaged. And my brake lining has no glazing from excessive heat. All the mounting bolts are not rusted, not cracked, and none are missing. The inside of my rim, there is no illegal welding. It's not broken, cracked, it's not damaged. Inside of the rim here, not broken, not cracked, not damaged. There's proper spacing in between my tires and my two rims have no space in between them and there's no grease, no debris. Side walls of my tires, no bubbles, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts, no audible leaks. Top of my tire, have even wear across. Minimum thread depth is 232, and you can recap and re-thread up to three times. There's no nails, and there's no audible leaks. The tires are properly seated to the rims. There's no audible leaks. My rims, not rusted, not cracked, no damage, no illegal welding. All my lug nuts are on tight. You wanna make sure you touch all of them. Make sure none are loose, none are cracked, none are missing, no shiny threads. No rush streaks behind the bolts, which also indicates looseness. I got two valve stems, one air valve stem for the first tire and my second air valve stem for the second tire. Caps are on tight, not rusted, cracked, not missing. And in order to check proper inflation of the tires, I would need a tire pressure gauge. It should read between 90 and 120 PSI. Another way to check is on the tire itself. It tells you exactly how many PSI it needs. So on this tire it says 110 PSI cold. So anywhere between 90 and 120 PSI. Now to finish it up, I would mention my axle. My axle is not broken, it's not bent, it's not cracked. It is properly mounted and secure to my wheel. 
I see no visible leaks. All my mounting bolts are on tight. Not rusted, cracked, or missing. My mileage reader is not rusted, cracked, or missing. Properly mounted and secure to my axle. And no visible leaks at all. To wrap it up with my axle, my mud flap, no abrasion, no bulges, no cuts. Properly mounted and secure to my axle, my cross members. All the mounting bolts, not rusted, cracked, or missing. And I have proper clearance from the tire and the mud flap. And that's it for your coupling system. Always remember, same thing as my previous videos. You're repeating a lot of things over and over again. You have to do every part individually. Make sure you do not miss anything. If you miss something and you step away from it, they're not gonna let you go back and redo it. So you gotta make sure you say everything while you're there at the moment. Another thing, it's the same thing as every other inspection. You gotta name the part, name the condition of the part, name where it's mounted and how it's mounted to it. So for instance, for example, with the axle, Let's try the rim. The name of the part is the rim. The condition is not broken, it's not cracked, it's not damaged. There's no illegal welding. Where is it? It's properly mounted and secure to my wheel and to my properly seated to the tire. No audible leaks. How? It has all the lug nuts not rusted, cracked, or missing. No shiny threads, no rush streaks behind the bolts. And also remember, please like, share, and comment. And always remember to subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos for our in-cab and of course the rest of the trailer and rest of the tractor. Have a good day.